Six bells and all's well, and the lights are burning bright, sir. That was said many times over the years in maritime travel. I'm Brian Nielsen with Pocketful of Time, and we're going to talk about the ship's bell clock, a very unique working piece of horology that was used for decades and decades and still today in maritime timekeeping. Let's take a closer look at this and how it functions and what it did. Here's the clock outside of its case and you can see the escapement movement just like the chronometers have. This allows the clock once again to be accurate as it moves around. A pendulum clock will not allow that to happen. It'll get out of beat and it'll stop. Theoretically, this clock will run properly just about any position that it's in. Let's, uh, let's look at the chiming of the clock and see what, kind of, what, what the bells mean and why they go off the way they do. The ship's bell clock was the official clock of any vessel that was on the high seas. It's still used today. Basically what it does is it tells maritime time. Uh, a, a watch is, or your job station, is a four-hour period. And what the clock does is during that four-hour period, it strikes from one to eight bells, adding one bell every 30 minutes at 12, 4, and 8, twice in a 24-hour period. Six watches. And uh, it... If you're up in the crow's nest, if you're uh, standing guard, your watch is the length of that watch time, that four hours. And we're go uh, let's talk about how the clock goes off, what, the what, what time the bell is sounding off at, and uh, explain a little bit more why it's doing what it's doing. Your watch starts at... 12 noon or 12 midnight. It has just struck eight bells, which means end of watch for who was there for the last four hours. Now you come on station, and now you start your four-hour watch. From 12 to 4 o'clock, it's going to, every 30 minutes, it's going to add one bell. At 12.30, one bell. At one o'clock, it will now sound two bells. At one thirty, it will now sound three bells. I'm having to stop because it has a camming uh, ability uh, to take out that one bell. Now three times. And it will do this until 4 o'clock. And at 4 o'clock, it will then strike its 8 times, signifying the end of watch. And then at 4.30, it will start all over again with its single strike. You're now 30 minutes into your watch. These clocks are highly collected and uh, 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 still for sale today. You can get them in uh, the regular striking of the hour or in the ship bell configuration and uh, uh, pretty unique clock. Uh, served, a, served a purpose back then and uh, uh, if you have one of these and uh, you, you ought to get it serviced and get it back up in the running condition because these are, these are one of the timepieces that has a rich history in, in, uh, in horology.